Sophia! Brad Mono! My baby. What's up? Oh What's up? God, you're so sexy with this hair like this. Gosh! Damn. You look good as hell. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Yeah. What's wrong? Are you nervous? No, you don't make me nervous. I make you a little nervous? No. Ooh, I think I do. You think so? <laughs> okay. All right. So, obviously, I always do your hair. Duh. I love doing your hair. You have the best hair ever. Thank you. Favorite. That's why you fell in love with me, right? I know. <laughs> you're my favorite model to do hair. Uh. I mean, like, look at this face look at this like luxurious thick hair like it is just incredible and the color it's stop the fact stop. that the fact that it's not even colored <laughs> is like crazy i know people keep asking me what the color is they think that you color my hair but you don't color we can pretend we can yeah, yeah i think we should pretend should we just lie i think I no we can't lie. lie no we never lie we never lie so we are using my new product today obviously mm -hmm. Yeah. Super gloss. Um, I just forgot the name of it. Uh, Super gloss ultra face <laughs> defense spray. <laughs> and it's going to last multiple weeks, multiple washes. This product is incredible because it's lightweight, super, super shiny. It makes your hair feel luxurious, look luxurious. It gives you lasting results. I don't know what else to say. It's just the sh It smells so good. Mm. It makes your hair feel like glass, like slippery, sexy, slithery, like, mmm. Mm. 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 So let's use it. I wish I had this in middle school. This is what I looked like in middle school. I wish school. I had you in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had you my whole life. Obviously you have very frizzy hair. Let's not beat around the bush. Like, I would never. <laughs> let's be honest with ourselves. It's so um, frizzy. It's beautiful. Remember St. Bart's? We were just like, okay, it's just gonna be like that. We gave up, but it's it, okay. It was cute though. It was pretty. You can pull off anything with confidence, and you know? You are just so beautiful no matter what your hair looks like. So <laughs> it doesn't matter, but we are here to do your hair today because, you know, I love your natural hair. Thank it's you. It's beautiful. Like, you look sexy no matter what. Like, look at this. Oh! So do you. The way that you're just so lucky to have this hair. Thank you. I'm so lucky to have you. <laughs> this is not for Pornhub. This is for my YouTube channel, Sophia. This is a family it's a show! It's a different... It's a Stop. different thing This is today. a family show, okay? God! Our, our OF will be linked below, but... <laughs> He's lying like a rug, okay? <laughs> um, and hello, Sophia's family. <laughs> hey, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys? Hi, Hi Janine, my mom. We're applying to wet hair, so we gotta wet Sophia's hair, but usually you would do this outside of the shower, right? It'd be like, shower, boom. But we are um, not doing that. Usually we, we, we do it right out of the shower, but... <laughs> <laughs> Usually you would do it out of the shower. Um, anyways, I'm sorry. I'm just saying it's so distracting having you in my chair and doing a YouTube video. I know. Yeah. <laughs> and just Woo! too much to handle. I feel like we might have to put like a cover over the mirror because it's like I can't really look at you and do this at the same time. Yeah. Uh, can we get a cape for Sophia? Oh, there's one right here. I guess I can just grab that. Ooh! <laughs> Um, don't touch. I just say this all every day, but like you could just do anything to anyone's hair. Like you have that knowledge. No, I know. Is that weird? Like it's like a weird like talent. I don't really know what you mean by that whenever you say it though. No, like like you don't need to have that skill. Like for example, I don't need to know what two plus two is, but I do. And it's like you know. I I feel like that one's a little more like necessary. I'm not gonna lie. Like you could <laughs> like I don't know about like that. you could walk up to a random girl and be like, oh, like you could fix their hair. Be well, like, I, I can just fix it. I would never walk up to a random girl because you. Yeah, because you're are the only one that matters. Right. Your hair is very difficult to wet. I will say. I know it. It, it kind of doesn't like. Time. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of here all day. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> We obviously launched a podcast recently. We did. Honestly, I want to tell everybody watching that if you are easily offended, don't watch our podcast. Uh, it's a bit of a different side to me, I will say. I feel like we're not really that offensive, which is out of touch. It's called out of touch. You know, I, I think that we, the, the name says it all. I mean, we're just kids. People ask us to like describe the podcast and I don't really know how to because I don't even know what it's about myself. I think it's just about ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're so into ourselves and we love talking about ourselves so we just made a we're podcast. So, we're so obsessed with everything we've ever done in our life and we're so, so conceited that we just figured, let's put it on camera, put the <laughs> microphone in front of us. We figured other people <laughs> want to see us be conceited. Yeah, we just figured like, fine, if you guys want to know so bad, we'll tell you. <laughs> Do you think people understand sarcasm? 
No. Like, no one's gonna understand that we were just kidding, right? It doesn't matter. Okay. They don't need to understand. We are filming today, by the way. We're doing um, things that don't make sense on the right. podcast. So that should be an interesting episode. We just did an episode about being delusional, which is our favorite topic. Everybody should have that skill. I mean, Sophia, the biggest thing that she's contributed to my life is not only her looks, <laughs> but also her delusions. Thank you. And teaching me how to be the most delusional person ever. I'm very grateful for that. I'm grateful for you. Thank you, Sophia. And if you guys want to learn about Sophia's teachings, it's on the pod. All right, so basically to use this product, very simple, spray it onto sections of wet hair. Now you want to be super generous with this product. It is very lightweight. So you want it on your roots. You want it on your hairline. You want it in between the sections. This, if you not do that, it will not properly work. Like get it on every piece of hair. I hate when I see girls use my products and they put one little drop and then they say it doesn't work. That's not how it works. So please guys do me a favor and use the product as intended to be used mm -hmm. and you will get incredible results. I want everybody to have a great experience with my products and um, oh my God, this smells so good. It does. I want to drink it. I have been dying to use this on Sophia because I haven't yet and we just finally mm -hmm. got it. It's a very exciting moment for me. So after we spray that in, I'm going to blow dry the hair very nicely and I will be back after I do this first section. Wow, it's already like... I, yeah, and it blew out in like five seconds. Wait, why am I so like, why am I like, wow? The way I'm like in prime, it's yeah, blow like, out and it's in... literally like thin straight. Ooh. But it's just you, that's what I'm saying. Like, no, I can't, product. no, it's a product too, but like, I can't do that as well. Like, you're so great in it. We just did a like five second blow dry on this side and it's already so straight. Like I feel like you could put that in real time. People would just be like, oh, it took 10 seconds. It looks like I straightened your hair. This is better than I've ever straightened my hair in my life. Don't even <laughs> say that. And I know it's my product, but I'm not kidding when I say this, this is the best straightening like blow dry product I've ever used in my life. A hundred percent. I'm just gonna put it out there, so. Yeah, and if they don't agree, guess what? Cake rocks. Literally. You can cut, you can cut like 10 inches off, I don't care. So that took me all of five minutes to Literally. do if our, my blow dryer didn't blow a fuse. <laughs> uh, if your hair looks beautiful. Gorgeous. Uh, Thanks for your product. Also, that's it. Let me finish the blowout. Yeah, wait, are you gonna straighten it too? Is yeah. There? Shut the front door. No, you shut it the It already door. looks this good and you like, oh my goodness, I no, can't I even know. believe it. Obsessed with you. Join the club. I know. The I got a committee. Um, I literally woke all member. the women up, and now everyone's attracted to you because we're dating, and now they're jealous. It's just because you're so like. Sorry, but like on camera, I don't say anything crazy. Hello. I just heard your tongue growl. Growl. I'm so hungry. Okay, why the Cry. freak does my hair look this good? I know you're a professional hairstylist, but like, no. and it should look this good, but why the heck can't I do it? It's honestly the product. You can do it at home too. It's so... Why the <laughs> heck does it look that good? I did not You didn't even, even do anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. Stop. Stop. You literally didn't even try yet. Oh. Wow. Unbelievable. Insane. Okay, so now I am going to straighten your hair because heat is required. Hot tools specifically are required to activate this product to ensure it lasts multiple washes and you get all the benefits of the Super Gloss product. If you do not do this, it will not work properly. Okay, people? Listen to Brad. Father Brad. From all your hair dyes. Daddy Brad. Brad. <laughs> Braddy Daddy. Why did you just freak out? <laughs> Can you be careful? <laughs> Can you shut the freak up? Can you watch your fudging mouth? Shut that fudger. Right shut now. the fridge. All right, so I'm taking small sections and I'm just gonna go boom, boom, bang, bang. One pass, baby. Bippity boppity. They call me one pass wonder because I only do one pass. It's you know? a family show. <laughs> there are kids watching. So, how long have you been a redhead for? Mm. 
I came out of the womb bald. So like, we can't count that. Have you ever seen my baby picture? Sorry, I have ADHD. Um, no, but we can put it in the video. No, we can't. No. I Actually, yeah, I don't care. Feel like we honestly I feel like people, shouldn't. I feel like people will like relate to me more if I show you like my baby pictures. My mom likes to try to convince me that I was like a cute baby. And like maybe at times in the right light, Sure. In the wrong way. <laughs> More normal way? <laughs> Wait, okay, I'll show you a cute picture. Yeah, first, yeah, yeah. Just so you like can see like the right light. Yeah, baby. It's cute, you know? Oh. <laughs> that's yeah. cute. Yeah, you look good. He's lying, that's cute. This one is really bad. Oh. <laughs> so, when I said we should have kids together, <laughs> I meant um we should Wait. not. <laughs> Anymore. Brad as a baby was like the most handsome thing. I feel like we've talked about this before. Wait, so I actually watched a TikTok the other day and uh, You don't only just watch your own? No, I definitely watch Do you watch other people's too? But I Makes one of us. saw a video that said like, oh no. If you think I have it easy now, you should have seen me as a baby. And she was so pretty as a child. And I related to it so much. Because yeah. I was such a cute child. Yeah. That, like when I grew up and wasn't as cute and the attention stopped being like insanity. Like going to a store and getting mobbed by mm. people. I was like, wait, what the fuck happened? Yeah, and then you were like, now I have to just be famous to figure it out. Exactly. Now, so now I need to feel something again. And now I'm just like fighting for that same yeah. thing of like, please love me. Right. Please. Yes. And I was the exact opposite. Like, I don't want to say I was ugly because no one's ever ugly, but I was insecure. I didn't have any confidence. My hair was orange. My skin was translucent. I had no eyebrows and no eyelashes. Didn't wear any makeup. And I just was not cute. And then on top of that, I had no confidence. I mean, I had it, I just, I couldn't find it. You're you, born with confidence. You when, just. Yeah, when did you find it? How did you find it? I think when I was like 17, some boys started to like me and then I was like, wait. Ooh. And then I was like, just started to be more and more confident because you have to be, you know, you can't go through life just not being your most confident version of yourself. And also I think, when I was 17, I cared less about soccer. Like I cared a lot about sports and just like running and I cared, I was kind of like a tomboy a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, let me just learn how to do my hair and makeup and see what happens. And it was wonderful, it was have a wonderful you, thing. Have you always been like a girly girl? No, I was always a tomboy because I was, I still am always best friends with my brother yeah, yeah, yeah. and my two brothers and they were wrestlers and I was kind of just like with them all the time. Like in my junior years of high school, I wasn't as much of a tomboy, I was more of a girly girl and I wanted to like look pretty. And by the way, people don't know, you have a twin brother. I have a twin brother and he's yeah. so, Gorgeous, handsome, amazing. So is my older brother. Well, your brother's engaged. Yeah, my older brother's engaged, yes. Oh, not the twin. Not the twin. So this could still work. Your brother could turn gay and marry my brother, and then we could get married. Your twin brother's gay? Yes. Oh, I think I knew that. I think you told me that so, before. So would that be weird? No, I would pray for that to happen. Are you kidding but me? But then wouldn't he- It would be a Wouldn't blessing. they be re related? Wait, who? We would be related. Wait, that would be weird. <laughs> no, it would be perfect for us. Wait, how does that work? Wait, why don't we just get married? Oh, I want to. Yeah. Is that a threat? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Why does that side look straighter than this one? That's what I want to know. <laughs> is it because of the light? Uh, Your tummy's still growling. Oh, that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> I like that I'm close enough to you that I can hear it. <laughs> get closer, baby. I like when you're literally the closest you can be to me. Um, sorry. Straight hair? I know. Sometimes we forget we're filming things and then things get a little bit spicy. You're dirty girl. That is fake news. I shouldn't say that. I'm like the cleanest thing alive. Because people are gonna people are gonna think like You love to pretend you're like pretend Jesus's daughter. I am Jesus's <laughs> child. And I'm Lucifer. I'm a child of God. Child. No, you are not. You're a child of God and God loves you. Do you ever just think like, what if this is hell? No. Because I do all the time. Really? Because yeah, it's wonderful. You have to think the fact that everything has a downside to it, right? Like you fall in love, but then there's heartbreak. Even just little things like eating sugar, bad for you, but it tastes so good. Mm. Everything has like a up and downside. It's like, why can't it just be great? Like, why can't I eat sugar and get skinny? Eve ate the apple. You have to wonder though. No, I mean, I think that God puts negative things in front of you because he gives you a choice. You have free will. If he didn't want you to have a choice, then he would just not let you have the sugar. Anyways, enough about Jesus. Um, should we talk about when we met? Yes. We met at Fashion Week. No, we didn't. Oh, sh balls. What the freak? <laughs> So we met at my own brand's party. Mm, thanks uh, to my friend, Olivia Ponton, who we love so much. She invited me as her plus one. 
Yes. And nobody knew who I was. When I saw Sophia for the first time, I had butterflies in my stomach. I was like, this is the prettiest girl I've ever seen in my Shut life. Shut the front door. No, I did. And then I started doing her hair, like while we were sitting at the table. Yeah, he literally. It was a dinner, by the way. Yeah, he literally got up from his chair and came over to me and started just, he was like, can I touch your hair? And I was like, yes. <laughs> and just started running his beautiful fingers through my hair. And it was a blessing. Stop it. I was so grateful you were there. I was honored to be there. And then we kind of like lost, like we didn't really like follow each other. No. I don't think we did. I don't think we did anything after that. And then we saw each other at another, the next year's fashion week. Next season. Shit. Wait, no. It was my party and then it was fashion week. Yeah. Immediately, immediately after. So it like just worked out that she was at parties that I was going to as well. Mm -hmm. And then we kept seeing each other, and I was like, wow, you're still really pretty. You're pretty. Like, you're still pretty. I can't believe you think I'm that pretty. And then we were just clicked, you know? It was like, love at first sight. Literally, love at first sight. Wow, I'm falling in love again after I <gasps> tell that story. It's kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. I'm blushing. I don't know how I finished this video. Did I tell you this? Okay, want to know what I want to tell you? What? Remember we talked about celebrity crushes? Yes. I said mine was Zendaya. Yes. I want to redo because it's still Zendaya. No, no, it's still Zendaya. Like we're gonna be best friends. Like I already know it. Um, well, wait, are you dating her? Or are you best friends? Best friends. Like, but if she wanted to kiss me, like I couldn't say no. Well, I would have to be there. Yes, of course. <laughs> you can film it. My celebrity crush, Henry Cavill. He doesn't look like me. I, <laughs> what I meant to say was Ryan Gosling. I meant to say Ryan Gosling. You know what? You're my celebrity crush. What the hell? No, Henry Cavill. And I don't want to get in a fight while we're filming a YouTube video. I know, should this be our first fight? And I googled his name. Guess how old he is? 50. 40. And I was like, okay, 20 years. It's perfect. Yo, what the fuck? Cut the camera. <laughs> Why? Yo, cut the No, seriously, cameras. I don't care that he's 40. You can't f Wait, wait, but what? Uh, are you getting jealous? Yeah. Jealousy, jealousy. Um, my celebrity crush? Besides me. Because I'm glad you asked. Besides me. Is, um... Name a redhead. So anyways, when did you start feeling you could like you loved your I hair? I heard you. Did you ever feel like you wanted to color it? You've never colored your hair, right? No. I uh, didn't like my red hair growing up. Like, I didn't love it. My mom would never let me dye my hair when I'm 10 years old. And it was curly, too. And obviously, I had no idea how to do curly hair. No one did. I don't even know if it was necessarily the hair color that I didn't like. I just didn't know how to style it. I didn't know how to do it. And blonde eyebrows and blonde eyelashes come with red hair. I just didn't feel pretty ever. And then I was like, I need to change my attitude because I can't change this. Well, you can. You can dye it, but like, you can't dye your hair when you're 10 years old. Like your mom's not gonna oh, be like, I oh, do. let me spend, let me spend $130 on my 10 year old to get blonde hair because she doesn't like it. Like, no. And then I was like, I'm not gonna change it. I have to change my attitude. If you don't like something, change it. And if you can't change it, change your attitude. I was like, okay, like, I love it. And then I started to use like my weakness as my strength and just kind of make fun of it. So I just kind of started to like use self deprecating humor to get around it. And then when I was like 17, I had a halfway decent personality because I had to, because I didn't think I was pretty and didn't use confidence or anything. And then I learned how to do makeup and hair and I was like, oh my gosh, look at me. I love that for you. Thank you. That was my journey. What would be three things that people would be surprised to learn about you? You know what I just realized? Nobody people knows know anything. me. Yeah. But people don't know you on my channel. But so I think we should get the people to know you. I love being mysterious. Share all your secrets. Right okay, now. Okay. My goal in life. Oh yeah, tell them this. Is to be a mother. Aww. And I want to be a great mother. And I'm very excited. I want a lot of kids, like four to six. Well, we better start going. Yeah. Well, we better start working. And then my career goal, obviously, is to be an icon. Well, you already got that. So. <laughs> See, as long as you think so, that's all that matters. I think that you're the most perfect. That's how I feel about you. Person no, that's how I feel about you. Met in my entire life. That's literally how I feel about you. I think about it every day. That you're I think about perfect. you the moment I wake up to the moment I go to sleep. Like I'm sitting in meetings and I'm just thinking, what is Sophia doing? Oh my gosh, that's literally how I feel about you. And I love how at night we have conversations on TikTok, Instagram DMs, iMessage. All at the same time. And then if we can't get enough done <laughs> in those three apps, we'll, we'll do a phone call. A quick phone call. The way that we act, that's a true story. That's true. And it's like almost every night. Last night I was like, what the f***? We're talking on three different apps Yeah, right I know. It's brilliant. It's brilliant, love. Ooh, Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. We have finished your hair and it looks glossier than I've ever seen it look in my entire life. It looks amazing. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe this.
like you are meant to be a hair model. It's insane. <laughs> Thank you. Gosh, Ooh, too good to me. This is wild. I mean, how does your hair feel? Do you like it? It feels insane. I don't think it's ever felt better. It's so oh my strange. gosh. I'm like scared to touch it. Like it's too good. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to last you multiple washes throughout. This is going to last me. It I'm could not... literally rain on your head and it probably won't get frizzy. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not kidding. This is going to last me over a week. I'm not going to wash it. I can't wait to see it when it's completely pinned straight in two weeks because of super gloss. Mm, because of super gloss. And these hands. These yeah. Power, these powerful Those hands. Those hands can do a lot. <gasps> oh, yo. What? what? Who said that? <laughs> Hi, this is Brad from the future. I completely forgot to say, when I said in the video that this product makes your hair humidity resistant, I meant it. So I'm showing you this test right now where we are taking an actual steamer and steaming her head. I'm so happy I didn't burn her, but her hair did not frizz up at all. Also, I put some water droplets on here just to show you how waterproofing this product can be. I mean, it is wild. I wish I got the audio on camera because Sophia was freaking out. She was like, how the freak is my hair not poofing up? She has the most frizzy hair ever. It was pretty incredible. Honestly, I was even shocked. It was super fun to see. And um, yeah, so I thought I'd include this little clip in here for you. All right, Sophia, obviously people should check out the product, Super Gloss. This one right here, shoppable below. Obviously check out Sophia's, you know, TikToks, Instagrams, I'll be linked below. As well as our podcast mm -hmm. account. The most important. Which is called Out of Touch and we upload it every single week. So make sure you check it out if you want to see our beautiful faces talking about some random sh and causing trouble. And that's it. That's it, guys. Thank you for Thanks being for on my watching. channel, my love. You love look you. so beautiful and I love you so much. And now we have to our podcast. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs>